good morning, good morning. I want to welcome you to today's broadcast, How to Win in Uncertain Times. I'm Jay Moore, the Healthy Accountant, helping you to account for your life. And today our topic is, man, it's time to play some offense. It's time to play offense, man. Um, you're going to be tempted. I'm going to tell you, you're going to be tempted right now to start playing defense because of a lot of things that's happening right now. It's uncertain. Everyone's in the house. Um, you know, you're going to want to play defense. You know, start um, kind of, you know what, maybe I need to stop doing this. Maybe I need to stop paying for this. When those things are things you should look at. But the biggest play you got to make is in on, is on the offensive end. So, just thinking about basketball. Just thinking about basketball. I'm going to tell you, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan was the guy. He was the guy that we all we all was just looking up to Jordan, man, because it wasn't defense. We weren't paying attention to his defense. If it, Now, he played defense. See, that's what I'm saying. Defense is important. But it wasn't his defense that drew us to him. You know, now, Dennis Rodman played defense, but, but at the end of the day, he's not Michael Jordan. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that play defense. And... Bruce Bowen. Bruce Bowen played on the San Antonio Spurs. Known for defense, but he's not Michael Jordan. He's not Kobe Bryant. So even though the great ones, a lot of the great ones could play deep. The really great, they could play some deep. But here's the thing. It's the offense that we really fell in love with. I mean, Jordan, think about it. You're losing, right? You're losing. You can't play small. Think about it. If you're losing right now, if you're losing, it's, it's April of 2020. We all know what's going on. If you feel like you're losing right now, you got to play offense. You can't play defense now. You've already played defense. Yes, you may need to have some things in place. Yes, you may need to kind of be paying attention to things, but it's time for you to play offense. What does that really mean today? What does that mean? How, how would you play offense, you know, when the economy seems like it's shrinking? Don't be fooled. The economy is not shrinking. No money is gone. All of the money is still here. It's just being diverted. Think about it. The toilet paper companies are getting a lot more of the money because they told us to go buy toilet paper. They told go buy toilet paper. So toilet paper companies getting more money. There's the grocery stores are getting more money because because maybe you're not going out, you can't go sit down to eat as much as you used to. Money is just being diverted. What does that mean? You gotta play offense. You gotta say, wait a second, if money's being diverted, where can I put myself? Where can I put myself to be on the offense end? And I'm gonna tell you, man, um, I learned this today. Because in basketball, when offense is offense is actually the best part of the game. When you can put shots up, but for some reason in life, a lot of times people only want to take a couple of shots and then they want to sit down and go to the bench. When, man, think about the guys that's playing the game. You know, it's nothing like being a guy that they don't take out the game or you get limited time on the bench. Now, don't you want to be in the game when you can put up the shots, when they're looking for you to get the ball and do something with it? But here's the thing. If you go on defense right now and if you stay on defense, then that's going to be a problem for you. That's like literally just yesterday. Yesterday, uh, met with my mentor, and it's right. Met with my, it's a Saturday. Absolutely. I, I mean, I'm I, my mentor is just as spiritual as I am, and he, or or even more. And so we we meet, and he's share, he's sharing all sorts of gems. I'm sitting there like, whoa, there's so many things I can use to go on offense. I'm an accountant. I'm a, you know, I'm a CPA. All right. One thing, one big thing I can do is help people fill out applications right now. If you are a small business owner, I can help you fill out the application for the SBA, for all of the disaster loans, the, um, the paycheck protection plan, help you put together your documentation um, so that you can get these loans. I was like, man, that's going on offense. What else can I do? Man, there, I mean, obviously, you know, people might need their taxes prepared. So that's that. I mean, that's pretty obvious. But but the new is the programs. I can, you know, at first I wasn't sure how to do it. I said, you know what? I can just help people. I can help you fill out these papers. 
what else can I help people with? Does it matter? There are a lot of people that may not know how. They may not know how to use Facebook ads. They may not know how to use or or to do an ad, but they may not know how to find their find their target. They may not know how to find their customer. They don't know how to define that. Working with a mentor has helped me to find my target. So tell me something. Do you need help finding your target customer? Like like the person that you're supposed to actually sell to? Because most people don't know this. Most people say, well, you know what? And I used to do this. Um, when I worked with my first mentor. And, you know, he helped me a lot. But we didn't go as far as my current mentor. My first mentor just was like, well, choose an industry. Okay, real estate. All right, well, you know, what can you help them with? Oh, I can help real estate um, agents save money on the taxes. And that was all. That's, that's as far as I went, but it wasn't enough. Because do you know how many other accountants are doing that? Oh, my goodness. There are thousands of hundreds of thousands, maybe May not millions, but hundreds of thousands of other accountants right now are doing it. And here's the thing: even a lot of accountants are going to, are going to be offering this program to help you with the, you know, to help you with the paperwork. And that's why I'm kind of, I'm kind of reluctant to, you know, really be in that ocean because everyone's trying. Everyone's trying to do it. Um, you always want to distinguish yourself. Now, what I, I know I can help somebody find find a target customer. Why? Because I found mine. I found it. I found it. Now it's 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 a lot. It's interesting. But if that's you, you should you should definitely reach out. Um, Facebook ads, setting up your first advertising, setting up your funnel, going on offense. See, there are a lot of people right now on defense. Are you on offense? Or are you on defense? Look, if you need help with any of those things, then reach out. Let's talk. And the conversation is free. Well, We'll talk about some things. We'll see if there's a way I can help. And if there's a way, you're going to get an, um, you're, uh, an amazing, I'm talking about an amazing, unbelievable discount for it. Because I, I really want to help people right now get into the game. Help you with offense. Got it? Also, I got something else. Where is this at? Don't forget that. We've got the personal planning document, the personal planning document that I can help you out with. Man, this document, this one page document, that's golden, man. This is my life's work. This document is my life's work and that's free. That's a free document. So on top of, on top of being able to help you um, with maybe finding your ideal customer, um, or setting up an advertising, a funnel, something like that, writing some emails for you, um, or even helping you with the paperwork to, um, um, for the SBA to get some of the stimulus money. Uh, if you're a business owner already, uh, that'll help. Um, you're going to get that for free. You're going to get the personal planning document thrown in there um, for free. That's, gonna, that's probably going to afford you maybe even a couple of coaching sessions. Um, so I'm excited. Because going on offense, going on offense means that all you do is just get out there and shoot the ball. You just shoot the ball. Just shoot the ball. You don't got to shoot no stupid balls. You don't got to shoot half court. Shoot a couple layups. You know, if you can shoot a three-pointer, shoot a three-pointer. Shoot a free throw. But shoot the ball. Shoot the shots you know you can shoot. That's the goal on offense. Shoot the shots you know you can shoot. And, and what happens is after shooting some shots, you're going to make some shots. So guys, I hope you got some advice from this today. Play offense today. Don't be uncertain. Don't be in worry. Just go ahead, get out there, and um, shoot the ball. Stay on offense. Make sure your defense is in check, but stay on offense. All right, guys, I appreciate you, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take care.